Hello guys, today we are going to see how you can connect a Bluetooth module to your Arduino and control lights. So we need few components for that. Here is the list. We need an Arduino board. I am using an Arduino Uno. We need a cable to connect your Arduino to laptop. We need a breadboard. We need a Bluetooth module. I am using HC05. We need a relay. I am using a 5 volt 1 channel relay board. We need few jumper wires so that you can connect circuit. We need a bulb. I am using this CFL. You need few more wires. Uh, you need this to connect to your bulb and to your relay you need resistors i'm using 1k and 2k resistors also you need a smartphone uh, so that you can connect to your bluetooth module and control your lights i'm using an app to control bluetooth the app is called bluetooth electronics so by using this app you can control your lights So let's jump on to the circuit diagram and see how it is connected. So if you see at the circuit, there are two different parts to it. One is connecting your Bluetooth module to your Arduino. Second is connecting your bulb and your relay to the Arduino. So let's look at one by one. First, if you see, we have connected the Bluetooth module to Arduino and uh, we have given the 5 volt and ground from Arduino to your ground and VCC of Bluetooth module and if you see we have this TX and RX of Bluetooth module connected to the Arduino. The TX and RX of Arduino works on 5 volt whereas for Bluetooth it works on 3.3 volts. So we need to find a way to cut down the voltage from 5 volt to 3.3 volt so that we are not harming our Bluetooth module. For that purpose we have used this 1K and 2K resistors which is dividing the voltage while giving it to the Bluetooth module. Coming to the second part of our circuit, we have a relay which is connected to the Arduino and also to the bulb. It is pretty simple. What we are doing here is connecting the VCC and ground of your relay to Arduino. Also an input uh, trigger which is connected to the port 13 of your Arduino. Now this port 13 will take care of the trigger part wherein you say bulb should be on or off. The other end of the relay is connected to the power supply bulb. Now let's look at the code. The second line of the code says software serial that BT serial 2 and 3. That means we are defining our own RX and TX port and not using the Arduino's default RX and TX port. Then we have defined trigger that is pin number 13 of the Arduino. If you come down to setup, we are saying that the trigger is an output port and we have defined the serial uh, baud range to 9600 for both the RXTX port as well as the serial. Come down to the loop, it is pretty simple. Here we are reading the input from our Bluetooth module and deciding based on the input what needs to be done. So I have taken two values here A and B and said if you get a value of A from Bluetooth just switch on the pin number 13 and if you get the value B then switch off the pin number 13 that's it so this is how the code works now let's start with the circuit building so first upload this code to your Arduino and we can start the circuit so let's build the circuit take the breadboard connect your Bluetooth module to the breadboard take the Arduino connect your Arduino's power supply, sorry, the Arduino's pin 5 volt and ground to the power rail of your breadboard. Connected. Now connect your Bluetooth power. To the power rail 
Oops. Now we need to add this two wires. I'm using white and blue for TX and RX. So for that, first we need to build the voltage divider. I'm using this two 1K and 2K resistors. Put this 1K and 2K resistors in series. Done. Take the blue wire from the TX of your Bluetooth and connect this to the pin number 2 of your that is RX of your Arduino. Take the RX or receiving pin from your Bluetooth and connect in between the two resistors. Now we need to we need to give the 2K resistor to ground. So let's give it to ground. Okay. Now this part, the 1K resistor, this is the output. So let's take another white wire. This is the output and let's give this output to pin number 3 of your Arduino. We are using this pin number 2 and pin number 3 as we have defined the same in the code. So this is your Bluetooth module circuit. Now we need to attach the relay as well. But first let's upload the code. I have attached this to the laptop. So now it is powered. Now I want to upload the code. So first of all I need to unpower the Bluetooth module. I don't want this to interfere with our Arduino. Now I have uploaded the code to our Arduino. So let's power on the Bluetooth. It's powered on. Now we need to connect our relay to our Arduino board. So if you see here, I have connected the relay to the power supply and we have three wires coming out of this relay. VCC ground and the trigger pin. So let's connect this VCC into the power rail and ground as well. You see the relay is powered on. Now we need to give this trigger to our pin number 13. So I have this bulb. This is connected to the relay now. So this is the app. Now say connect. Select the HC05, it is already paid. So I will say connect. Now it is connected to my Bluetooth module. So let's say done. We already have few default settings in here, but I want to use this. I made the setting here. I am passing A and B from this. So let's check. Now if I press green, oh, the bulb is on say red it's off green it's on red it's off so that's the circuit is all about now you can control your lights using the bluetooth module and arduino thank you